I just need to come on here like really quick. Really quick. Guys, <laughs> this gotta be a joke. So I'm driving and ooh, put it down because the cops are passing. Uh, y'all gonna see the splatter. I'm gonna show y'all all the stuff I just had to clean off just now. I'm driving and um, I use my blinkers to signal that I'm making a right because I need to get off on the highway. The person behind me, which is far, far behind me, they must not see. So now they're mad close to me as I'm, um, like as I'm in the lane now. So he beeps at me. I'm ignoring it because I'm just like, I just had my blinkers on for a little while. So like, how did you not see that I had my blinkers on to go in the right lane? Cool. So now, I hear the zoom in, like the zoom, like room, room, whatever, right? And he got he got a BMW. That had to be a man. I don't think that was a lady. I think that had to be a man. So now I get off the highway. He gets off the highway too, and I keep realizing, yeah, he's behind me. But I ain't paying it no mind. Like it is what it is or whatever, right? Cool. I keep on driving, whatever. Still see he behind me. So now the light is um the light is on green so I'm going. All I hear is boom. I'm like What was that? So I'm looking at this window and I see like the little splatters but I'm like, "Bro, he got to have this I know." So now I'm trying to look through my rear view mirror and I'm just like, I still don't really see anything. I don't, you can't even really see because of the glam. Why he or she must have had, I don't know, iced coffee or like something through the whole thing at my car. Through the whole entire thing at my car. So the whole back window is covered in ice latte, milky stuff. And then the back window is also covered in it. So I'm like, you really, you really just did that? Like, you're not serious, right? So now I waited, I, I, I waited till I looked again. Next thing you know, he's zooming off to go back on the highway. So you literally just got off the highway to come throw something at me. Mind you, my window is, you see, it's kind of cracked. So thankfully it didn't come in my car on me because I have to go to work. So you just really went and did all of that to then get back on the highway? Like, it was that serious? Like, are you serious? Look at my window though. You see how dirty that is? Like, <laughs> so this is after me wiping it off with water. Because welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be making salmon be and mashed so potatoes. For your starter this. seasoning process, what I need you to go do right now is put your potatoes in a hot boiling pot of water to start that process going to soften up some of your potatoes. This is what's going to make it a nice, quick 30 minute meal as you're doing everything else. So, first, you're going to go in with the complete seasoning. Then, you're going to go in with some adobo, some Creole seasoning. Make sure you season it real good to your perfection real good okay next you're gonna go to the garlic powder you know you gotta put your little garlic you gotta put your onion powder add a little lemon pepper to that i don't put a lot of lemon pepper because i don't really like to season that much but you always gotta just put a little bit on your fish you know and you're gonna also add some fish seasoning this is um actually adobo just the regular adobo i just added because it is fish seasoning you know and although you did not see this part, make sure you clean that fish. Put some lemons in some water and clean that fish, okay? The, the olive oil portion is not a must because technically you're going to have the olive oil in your pan already. I just put a little bit as a little drizzle. So now you're going to go in, put the olive oil in your pan. You're going to slowly add some minced garlic. That one is my fave. Put it there and let it brown for a few before you add your salmon into the pot put your pot on medium 
and that should give it um that should make it hot enough you know you don't want it too hot to burn up your salmon real quick what i did here was i kept the skin on because it's so much easier to peel off afterwards so you're gonna see it's gonna go from this to that <laughs> yeah i took that that skin off i really hate looking at that skin i don't want it on my plate afterwards but you see how it's nice and golden and all i did was put a little bit of olive oil and it's just browning how it's supposed to be brown i did go in and add a little bit more complete seasoning and my favorite cajun seasoning i love cajun seasoning on everything so i just added a tad bit more but it's totally up to you now you're gonna see now my potatoes is done my salmon's already done but now my potatoes is almost done so i added actual butter in it the second scoop was margarine because i do use both add some black pepper into that then you're gonna go in with your salt add a little bit of salt into that no that's not a, not a lot of salt don't come for me pour your little milk you can use milk or heavy cream whichever one is that you want i'm just used to using milk and that's what i had in my house now i'm going to be breaking down the potatoes making them into mashed potatoes we're not doing no box mashed potatoes over here uh-uh these are real mashed potatoes okay boil your potatoes break it up smash it up season it up and you can do whatever you want with your potatoes some people put garlic in them to make garlic mashed potatoes it's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this okay and here is the final product. You know I had to be a chef little thing, little thing. Adding my little parsley, a little here and there. Um, I don't usually do this, but the parsley just made it look perfect. If you are planning on making this meal, let me know how it comes out. Make sure you clean your fish. But thank you for watching, guys.